Hey, what is up you guys? It's me, Arlene. Welcome back to my channel. I just woke up like hours ago because I wasn't hungry for dinner for anything, so I just slept. So I, I um, slept from 3, 4 o'clock all the way up to like 7, so I slept for about like 2 and a half to 3 hours, so yeah. Well, I just got some really wonderful news from my counselor, and um, he told me that I'm officially moving to Stanton this year. So <laughs> I am, am really, really blessed because um, I'm officially moving from Chesapeake, which I stayed for for the past 11 years, to Stanton. I feel unbelievable right now. I'm just blessed with positive, um, positive, positive news, you know, so. And, um... I'm sorry, I'm going to be working on the job site late, maybe next week. So it's going to be like next week. I'm not too sure what day it is. So it'll probably be either early next week, mid next week, or late next week, or I don't know. So, um, I'm just extremely happy for what I overcame, you know, so. I wish my older brother all the all the best, and my younger brother. I still contact him, so I tried to contact him, but he's still he's still like really busy at working two jobs. So I will definitely call him this weekend, so to tell him about the news. So I'm just really blessed to have my younger brother always supporting me, my cousins, my auntie, and um, my counselor, my w my WWRC. Family, I just call WWRC family because they are really, they really gave me an outpouring of love and support from my student, from my friends, from my family, from WWRC. And um, after I moved out of my older brother's apartment, I was on the verge of like being homeless, you know. Homeless is like being on the streets or something, but. I'm glad that I moved out on February 19th and my younger brother picked me up, took me to Norfolk, and the rest is history. So I decided to move to Stanton by the end of this year. So I'm graduating in late August, if not then October. So I will be probably either I'll be at the September graduation or the December graduation, whichever comes first. So I got to do my internships for the next six weeks each. I thought it was like four weeks, but it's like six weeks each. So that's like um, that's like twenty four weeks all together. So that's like um, yeah, that's like four to six weeks. And um, let's see, um, that's like four, eight, twelve, six. That's like six months or something like that. So I will be graduating like in August. So I'm really blessed to have my materials handling family. I want to call them family also because they treat me nothing but a lot of outpouring love and support. I want to give a shout out to Cassie, Steve, and Sandy for supporting me. And um, Cassie, she gave me the the work pants for my job site, so I'm really happy that she's been there. She's always there for me, so I'm doing a way lot better. Well, I'm doing a lot better when it comes to doing tasks. So, and I always go to Central every morning or afternoon, whichever comes first. And um, yeah, so after I graduate, um, I will get me a job at Target. Um, I will get me. Um, I will find well. Well, my counselor found me a place to live in a Stanton area, so it's going to be like permanent supportive housing, which it means like it's like permanent means it's like unlimited amount of time, even if you have to pay the rent and the bills and everything. So, and also I'm going to become my own payee in about like um, I'm going to be meeting up with Michelle um, in next week, actually. Yeah, I'm going to be meeting up with Michelle next week. And then I have our psychiatrist who takes care of my medications. And um, things are definitely, definitely, definitely looking up positively for me. And um, WWRC for me has changed my life. 
because they know my struggle, they know my stories, they know everything. So they know my situation that I am in right now because I am homeless. After I got, um, I moved out with, I moved out from my older brother's apartment. And um, after graduation, I'm not gonna be homeless anymore. So I'm gonna do my own pay. I'm gonna get my own full-time job, working 40 hours a week. Uh, I don't know if I could get, I could get like, cause I could get down from home or something like that. So <sighs> I'm just really happy, you know? So yeah, I'm just really blessed. It's okay not to be okay sometime because if you're in a situation where you feel negativity, it's like, it's like okay to be okay sometimes if you have like a mental illness like me or a learning disability, which is Asperger's syndrome like me. And um, next month, it's going to be Autism Awareness Month. And I am proud to be an Aspie. That means like a person with Asperger syndrome. So I'm going to be doing like um, a special video next month about um, Autism Awareness Month. So I will be doing that next month. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'm just really happy right now. And I'm feeling really blessed to have this campus giving me our full support of love and support and positivity, positive vibes. So anyways, that's all you guys. I will keep you updated tomorrow with week five of my materials handling update. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So stay blessed. Good night. And please stay safe from the snow. Bye guys. Stay blessed.